Hi everyone, it's Zach, the Grim Meeper of comics. I, ca I finally got like a appellation, like uh, Captain Cummings calls himself the super villain of the internet. Anyway, I hope the audio isn't trash. I like, uh, I wanted to get a video in after work, but if I wait till I got to home, it'd be too late. So I'm gonna knock this one <laughs> out pretty quick and dirty. So uh, I've been reading the comments and people, uh, really want me to keep doing short videos, not all these long form live videos. I gotta tell you, I finally got the shekel receipt and it's amazing. Uh, the live streams do really great and that's gonna help fund the diversity in comics digest in whatever form it would, will be, which might now be a graphic novel. So my last video I talked to, or a video from yesterday, I talked about, I showed how abysmal the floppies, you know, the 20, 22 page comics are. But the uh, the trade paperbacks and the graphic novels were not that bad. Um, so I was saying there's a ray of hope and then I got hit upside the head by one of my uh, DC insiders. He's like, hey genius, you do realize that the trade paperbacks cost no money to make. They've already paid the artists. They literally just have to pay for the paper. So not only do they have a bigger profit margin because of economies of scale, but they just have a giant, it's basically all profit. I was like, okay. So uh, I might just put out like a super mega 2000 AD cheap paper and not, and not like parcel it out like, you know, like 10 pages a month for a year. I, it just might just be this 200 pound beast, kind of like uh, 2000 AD or Shonen Jump or something like that. Anyway, getting back to the topic of the story. So um, this is kind of a momentous day. Uh, I saw some preview art for uh, uh, Marvel Generations and um, it's uh, uh, Captain Marvel and Marvel. It's Carl Mambers and Marvel, the the old one with like the feathered hair from the 1990s. And this is a big day in the history of Carl Manvers because, well, technically tomorrow, because Carl is now done transitioning. I'm showing this picture, and this is clearly 100% a man's body. This is not even a woman without breasts. This is, it's literally the pecs of a man. It's the body of a man. It's the stature of a man. There's a little bit of, you know, makeup on the face. But uh, yeah, the transition is complete. It's been successful. Marvel, you've taken your flagship character. You, you've, you've hit your two goals. You turned uh, Carl Manvers into officially a man and you got sales under 20,000. So, you know, whatever kind of bonus you get from corporate for <laughs> ruining things twice, uh, congratulations, you did that. Um, but anyway, this in a more serious vein, uh, Literally, Marvel is being destroyed. The comics industry is being destroyed. I'm wondering a couple things. Because right now, Disney did this thing where they pulled back all of their TV shows and movies from Netflix to start their own streaming service. Everyone's starting a streaming service, but nobody wants to pay like five different bills. So this one's going to end up a little funky. But um, uh, I basically think that uh, Disney is basically putting incompetent people in place in Marvel, just so they can basically say, hey, we're not going through comic stores, we're not dealing with Diamond, we're just gonna shut down the comics industry, and then it's just gonna be books, you know, that pop out a couple times a year at Barnes & Noble, and that'll be about it. That's, uh, I mean, there's some holes in that theory, but you can't look at the milkshake crew, you can't look at the the horrible sales and, and, and say Marvel is just not noticing. That, like Marvel books can barely sell 20,000. Um, so anyway, uh, the thing about this Marvel, Marvel, Carl Manvers, is that not only did this Brent Schoonover guy have to draw, uh, and there's more of these, but I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be reviewing the comics, so I'm just doing this one picture so I can do a simpler video. But not only did he have to draw Carl Manvers as masculine as possible with literally zero breast tissue. These are not small breasts, and this is not the rib cage or the upper body or the torso of a woman, even a skinny woman, even an athletic woman. This is literally a man's body. So then, and you'll see this when I do the video, he had to do that. You know that thing in like, uh, 
junior high where girls draw boys and they always accentuate their eyelashes and lips. He had to do that to Marvell. So the actual man gets feminized. The can we call Captain Marvel an actual woman? Carl Manvers. Th- this isn't even transitioning. This is like it's like how Kobik, the the living cosmic cube, retroactively made Steve Rogers always an agent of Hydra. It's like Kobik made <laughs> Captain Marvel always a man. Like he was. Oh, it was always Carl Manvers. Uh, yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, the guy said, and this, uh, like I said, there's this whole like weird Mean Girls thing where if you want to work at Marvel, you have to openly denigrate the fans. So somebody sent me some screenshots before I put them in blast and I got blocked. And he's like, a lot of fanboys have a problem with progress. Progress is him drawing a woman who used to look like a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader from the 1980s, who now literally looks like one of the science experiment photos the Marines in my infantry company found of Saddam's doctors doing wacko experiments, just cutting random parts off of bodies. Uh, she, and I'm being nice, is completely disgusting. This is uh, abhorrent. This is a constant need by the extremist left, the childless weirdos, the bloodless to turn over literally not only every part of society, but every one, every single part of human nature. Not only are men women and women are men, but the way that you make a woman strong and in command is literally giving her a man's body. Like, this is just a sickness. These people need psychiatrists. They need to be out of the industry and they need heavy meds. And we need to bring back, what was the thing they used to do? <laughs> the electroshock. These are the people who used to get a lot. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm laughing. But I'm not being funny, which is kind of insulting myself. I'm being funny, but I'm being serious. Literally, the people working at Marvel, the people in the industry right now, are the people who, if it was 80 years ago, you would be putting wires into the lobes of their brain and charging up a current because you're just like, these are fundamentally damaged people. What, how can, what happens in your brain to draw a woman like this? Any woman like this? Like I said, this is not... An athletic woman. This is not a skinny woman. This is not a kind of manly woman. This is 100%, at least in the body, they kind of fudge it on the face. It, that is a man's body. And not a trans MTF, FTM. This is literally born a man. Always a man. Grew up to be a man. So anyway, tell me what you think about why they do with this. Tell me why you think anyone would call this progress. I think I think the progress comes from the thing where they're like I, I brought this up before. Marvel is obviously modeling Captain Marvel against uh, uh, around being a trans person while being complete cowards and not committing to the bit. I mean, nobody buys Captain Marvel. The seventeen thousand is orders. That's not actual sales. They might as well just commit to the bit. I mean, you're going to virtue signal. Don't just turn on one of the bulbs in the virtue signal. Turn on all of them. You know, freaking burn out everyone's retina. I mean, you're not actually about sales. You're just all about attention in your little sad little apartments with your 10 roommates and having to go teach, like, sad little uh, learning annex classes like Heather Hontos is doing. <laughs> this one just got mean. I don't know. This, this stuff really bothered me. I have daughters, and... Uh, uh, I like women. I think women are very important to the world, not just in the very, you know, logistical way of they give birth to people, but there's something special about being a woman. And a woman is not anything. The woman, uh, Being a woman is not someone with mental problems p- gluing a party city wig on their head. And, and this thing, this thing, this monster in this drawing is not a woman. It's absolutely a woman. So how, you know, I was like, uh, I was roasting the hell out of uh, Joss Whedon on Twitter, and I was like, he was doing some virtue signaling for some fake award they gave out. Like, it was some ridiculous category that, um, but uh, I was like, bro, you can't cheat on your wife for 15 years and sleep with your 20 year old employees and then be Mr. Feminism. You can't be Mr. Feminism and literally say women have to physically be men. It's disgusting and, and psycho- it's freaking psychologically unstable and damaged. Like I said, this is freaking eight, the eighteen. You know, this was nineteen seventeen. 
they'd be cranking up whatever 50 watts. I don't really know what watts or volts or amperage. Anyway, tell me what you think about this video. Oh, I came in at my right time. I said this is this is about 10 minutes worth of material. Tell me what you think about this art. Does it disgust you like on a fundamental human level? And especially if you're like a, a man who has a daughter or if you're a woman, um, an actual woman, uh, tell me how this makes you feel seeing women portrayed like this. I mean, well, why don't they just draw Bruce Wayne with like breasts? Like, and you know, like he can't grow a beard. Like up is down, black is white. Anyway, I'm gonna do uh, some live streams tonight I'm actually going to read the comic. I am never, ever, ever going to do that trash Moon Knight video that I did because I was tired and I was in a rush. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the, uh, the bell for notifications. And uh, I'll have more videos up later tonight.